What started as a way to help displaced fire victims in 2018 has turned into 100% volunteer based emergency shelter operation. Let's meet the founder, Woody Faircloth. Well, this next organization I love. They're changing lives, and not just in Colorado, but Oregon and California. I just want to talk to you, Woody. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. You know, this is something that you do with your daughter because, of course, you do hope that your daughter learns from it. Why is that? You know, she um, she really inspires me to get up every day and, and try to do something um, good with my life. All my kids do, but my youngest is um, considerably younger than my older kids. And, you know, we were coming on with Thanksgiving a couple years ago, and we saw the fires happening in California. And we saw a story about a guy who was able to start the RV up on the side of his house. His house burned down, and he was just saying how grateful he was to have a place to go home for Thanksgiving. And I turned to her and I said, Luna, what do you think about getting an RV and taking it to a family in California who lost their home? And she had no teeth at the time. She just smiled and she said, Dad, God and Santa Claus are going to be so proud of us. So I, it was on. That was what started it. That is so heartwarming. And the fact that you are instilling those kind of human qualities in her is so great, Woody. Okay, where do the RVs come from? You know, they're, they're typically donated to us. Um, you know, there's so many RVs that people use maybe once or twice a year or or maybe haven't used in a few years that are sitting in storage and they're, they're paying the storage fees. If they donate it to our nonprofit, we can provide them the full appraised value as a tax deduction. And so it's really a win-win. We, we then take those RVs and we provide them to first responders, firefighters, and just regular families who've lost their homes in these terrible wildfires. Right, and those situations are just awful. Okay, can you share a story about someone you've helped, maybe you showing up with an RV to save their day. Tell us about it. You know, we we helped uh, last year. Um, there was a, a fire in California. The Berry Creek Fire Department their their fire truck burned. Their entire station burned to the ground, and eight of the firefighters lost their homes. And they were still fighting the fires, and they were sleeping in other fire trucks. And you just don't think that's right. These these folks are heroes for being out there for the rest of us every day. And so we drove out a couple of RVs to them and got them all a good place to sleep and a, a nice warm shower. And, you know, these are big, tough, tough guys, these firefighters sometimes, but uh, quite a few of them were in tears. It was just really heartwarming. How many people would you say you have helped, Woody? It's a, it's a few hundred now. We've, we've delivered wow. over 90 RVs. Um, and, you know, there's usually two or three people in a, in a family that we help. And, yeah, you know, it's just been an amazing journey. And, you know, we, we set out to deliver one RV. And once we saw what a powerful impact you can have by providing such a basic human need as shelter to someone, now we have this platform and, you know, it's just we love to do this work and it really makes a difference. You know, the Red Cross and FEMA, they're huge organizations, but it takes a while for them to get rolling. And we just don't think that, you know, a deputy sheriff should be sleeping in his car because his house burned down or have to worry about where his family is going to be resting their heads at night if when they face this tragedy. So in what way can we get involved as a community? How can we help? Well, if you have an RV that's in good shape that you don't use anymore, or you're thinking about going to another RV, you can contact us. Go to emergencyrv.org, and we have an RV donation intake form. You can fill out the information, and we'll call you and talk to you about next steps. And, um, you know, we, it costs a lot of money to get these things ready for families. You know, when you lose everything in a fire, you need everything. And so financial donations are also appreciated. We use that money to transport the RVs and to uh, outfit the RVs. And so it's just super helpful. We're all volunteers. Nobody's making money here. We're just, we're just here to help folks. Woody, what would you say is your passion behind the mission? Like, why are you so passionate about it? You know, when we first arrived in, in Paradise, California with the very first RV, you know, I was excited. We were excited to give it to the family. And then I was going to go back to work. My daughter was going to go back to school. But when we saw what was happening there, the, the kind of trauma that happens to families when they lose everything they own in a, in a fire. I mean, these are people like you and me. And, you know, some of them, for whatever reason, didn't have insurance or, or otherwise were just in a spot where they were desperate for shelter and to be able to provide that to someone is truly life-changing. I mean, I would encourage anyone, if you can do something kind for someone with no expectation of anything in return, it, it truly is life-changing for all involved. 
Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for the work that you do, Woody, and your daughter as well, and for being with us today. Thank you so much. Help Emergency RV provide shelter to firefighters and first responders, veterans and families who have lost their homes. Donate your time, money or RV to Emergency RV today.